What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite builds in all of Fallout 76. We have the full health rifleman build. Starting off over the weapons, there are three different rifleman weapons that we're using for the video. First weapon, we have our three-star legendary gauss rifle with the main legendary effect being the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has advanced critical hits due plus 50% to damage, and it also has hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. Over in the mods, we're using the line shielded barrel, forceful stock, prime capacitors, gauss reflex sights, suppressor, and the night terror paint. Next Next up, we have our 3 star legendary enclave plasma rifle, with the main legendary effect being the anti armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the VATS critical hits due plus 50% to damage, and it also has a 25% less VATS action points cost. Over in the mods, we're using the prime capacitor, aligned flamer barrel, stabilized stock, and the reflex sight. And finally, we have my favorite rifleman weapon, due to it being my favorite weapon in Fallout 76. We have the fixer, with the main legendary effect being the anti armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has your VATS critical meter fills 15% faster, and also also, the bolts explode for area damage. Over the mods, we're using the prime receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, short scope suppressor, and the fixer paint. Now over in our demonstrations, with our all-powerful rifleman build and weapons, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished, and we're gonna start with this warlord right here. The first weapon we're using is the fixer, then we'll swap to the other two. But look at that, three shots and he's dead. What about that? 329 directly to the face. Not bad at all. A 541. Now we're going to get the most amount of damage with these weapons when we're in VAT. So here we go. Let me just get a little bit closer. All right. Missing 95. 359. There we go. Where are you going, sir? I need you to get on out here real quick. Let me just uh, peekaboo. Did I hit him? I did hit him, but it didn't kill him. There we go. We'll shoot this doggy then. 346. Not bad at all. Oh, super mutant. There we go. Just pop on out here. 712 to the suicider. Now, what weapon do I have next? We swapped over to the Gauss rifle. And I'm going to take out this floater real quick. There we go. 470. 840 to the floater. That's an insane amount of damage with a full health build. What about this super mutant? Oh my god. 2,259 to the super mutant's face. Oh, super mutant. Can you withstand the power of the Gauss rifle? Okay, if I can hit with it. Apparently you can withstand the power, but what about now? There we go, 1,135. Now I will say I think the Gauss rifle hits the hardest with a single shot, but the best rifleman weapon has got to be the Enclave Flamer. It's not a silenced weapon, but it does kill things the fastest, and it's the best for boss fights. Watch this. Goodbye, Super Mune, and he's dead instantly. There was 1,000 in there. That's an absolutely amazing amount of damage with the Flamer. Oh, Super Mutants. We'll get one inside of that and one outside of that. Here we go. Goodbye, Super Mutant. All right. And he's dead. Oh, we can actually take some shots real quick so I can show you the tankiness of this build also. Let me just make sure that right away is gone. All right. Fantastic. Now let's finish off this Super Mutant outside of that and outside of Sneaked. Goodbye, you stupid fool. Our next target on the list to fill the wrath of the full health rifleman is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Fred. We're going to start off with the fixer, then we'll come back two more times with the other weapons. Here we go with the face shots. 689 with the first shot. Absolutely amazing. 493, 493, not bad at all. 274, 493, 875 to finish off poor Fred. Now we've made our way back to the level 100 glowing behemoth Fred, but this time we have our Gauss rifle, and we're going to start with shooting him outside of that, and then we'll lock onto that face of his. Look at that, 497 right off the back. Not bad at all. All right, 702, and we're not even in bats. Now we'll get these face shots. 978, 1,543, and to finish it off, another 1,543. For our final fight against Fred, we've made it back with our Enclave Plasma Rifle. And I'm going to sneak over here real quick. We're going to lock onto that face, and this is probably the most powerful out of all the weapons, so prepare yourself. Goodbye, Fred. He did not even wake up, and this poor guy is now goo. My bad. Now over the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game full health rifleman build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game rifleman build. Starting off in strength, we have 4 and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 1 star. Weights of all chems including stim packs are reduced by 30%. We have blocker maxed out, take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15 and this one can have all the rifleman cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build. We have tank killer maxed out. Your rifle 
rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire maxed out. Bats now target limbs. Focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 11, and this one can have life giver maxed out. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kinfina at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer, and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Phil Surgeon maxed out. Stem packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6, and this one can have First Aid at 1 star. Stem packs restore 15% more lost health. We have Demolition Expert maxed out. Your explosives do plus 60% of damage. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 2 stars. Action points are generate 30% faster. We have Covert Operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Sneak maxed out. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Adrenaline at 3 stars. Gain 8% to max 48% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Tormentor at 1 star. Your rifle attacks have a 5% chance of crippling a limb. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% of damage. We have Serendipity maxed out. Wall below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. Now this should have actually been Ricochet, which is gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. But I sadly forgot to swap it out. We have Stretch of Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from Rads, and Radway right will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Over in the legendary perk cards these are the legendary perk cards that help make up our in-game rifleman build starting off with intelligence we have that card maxed out we have endurance maxed out strength at three stars luck at three stars follow through maxed out and funky duds at one star these are the legendary perk cards now let's get to my armor mutations and buffs starting off over the armor what we used is a full set of vanguard's gear which grants up to plus 35 to energy resistance and damage resistance to higher health and our health stayed high the whole time so this is absolutely fantastic over the unarmor what i'm using is the shielded secret service unarmor which gives us a plus four to our strength, a plus two to our perception, and a plus four to endurance. Over my backpack, what I have is my trusty standard backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, sky skin, and speed demon. Now over in our food and kim buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have mutt fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility. We have simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength. Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception. And of course, a perfect bubblegum. That way, hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we have Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage. And we have Psycho Tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception. Damage resistance increase. And damage plus 11%. Now, if you take them Overdrive and Psycho Tats, you can stack these. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best commando builds in all of Fall 76 for beginners. So if you want check it out. I'll link the screen right now. You see that? That is my beginner's commando build.